learned, I knew deep in my gut that he made the wrong call. The manager believed he was- Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. We're still in the beautiful state of Alaska. We're about to go fishing here this afternoon. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. I just want to thank a sponsor of ours, Audible. Uh, they're helping us out along the road. As you guys know, we've drove 60 hours to get to Alaska. We've listened to two Audible books along the way. This is the Thank You Economy by Gary V. It's a book about you know the positive being positive about the economy and it's just it's just about business something that I like to do uh, besides fish so check it out if you guys want and if you guys want a free 30-day trial go to www.audible.com slash AP Bassin and uh, they'll hook you up thank you guys so much for supporting us and uh, let's get to some fishing yesterday we made it to Seward and you know one thing we didn't mention was we brought that little boat with us, but we tried. We talked to many locals. We talked to many guys, and they said, don't with the ocean. That's what they said. So instead of us taking that little 18-footer out in the ocean, we actually are going with a charter guy just to make sure we don't die. I mean, if we figured we could do this tomorrow and go out there with a little tinner boat, then we're going to do it. But instead of risking our lives, there's a 20-foot tide here. So the, the current from six hours, it goes from 20 foot. It changes 20 feet. I've never seen a tide like that, you know. We've got to stay safe, it's not what we want to do. We haven't hired a guy this whole time. We went out with Chadwick, who's a great guy, great friend of ours. Dude's awesome, but this, we actually hired a guy today. So, I know some of you guys don't like watching those videos, but we're gonna catch some fish today. We're fishing for halibut, we're fishing for lingcod, we're fishing for big goldfish or something. It's gonna be epic, it's gonna be fun, and we've got a bunch of people on the boat, so this is it's gonna be an interesting video. Hopefully you guys are gonna like it, and let's, uh, let's catch a 300 pound halibut. Today I'm that noob that's on a chartered boat fishing off the side. Let's go. That's us today. But we don't want to mess with the ocean in our little boat, so here we are. made it to the halibut spot now it is a little breezy out here it's a little cold and we got out of those really rough waves that were coming in here kind of getting a little sketchy actually we're gonna go out another 20 miles but we didn't we're not able to get out there because of the seas so right now we're gonna drop some baits down and hopefully hook up to my first halibut ever hooked up first fish of the uh, trip so far for me out first here. fish first fish not sure if it's rock fish or it's a link cod halibut this fish is uh this is definitely a little different. I'm using a very heavy rod, 100 pound braid. Not like those kings we were fighting yesterday. Oh, look at that. It's a big old goldfish. Oh, yeah. Right there is a cucumber coming out of its mouth. Giant goldfish. Giant goldfish. Look at that. That's its air bladder because we pulled that fish out of 175 feet of water. We are eating these fish, so no need to be harmed that that fish will not make it because that's going, that's going in my taco tonight. This is the coolest looking fish I've probably ever caught. Look at its eyes. But that right there is its air bladder. That's because we pulled it out of deep water. His eyes are a little bulged too. But this is the goldfish of the sea. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we don't know this guy, but he's got a stocking hat on. He's got a baseball hat on. We're gonna get him right now. Watch this right now. Mike, 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 run, 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 oh. I just like to have fun, I'm sorry. I'll stop having fun. I've got to try some new jugs. I've got underwear that old. So. Oh! Good turn. All right, so buddy in the back just caught a big one, probably like an 80 pounder. My buddy Alex here had one on before that one. And buddy thought it'd be a good idea to open the bail. So, meanwhile, our first mate, I don't know his name, let's call him Buddy. We call Alex a Guggen. He didn't even know anything about the Guggen squad. What's his name? Oh, there's a salmon know. on the back. What's your name again? Guggen Alex. Jr. Guggen Jr. Or Guggen? Guggen. A Guggen. What's a Guggen mean? I don't know what the f*** he 
he's doing. Give me, old... give me your definition of a Guggen. Somebody that pulls a bail back on a big fish. Don't be a Guggen and pull the bail back on a big fish. Hey, real, 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 real. Yeah. Oh. Alright, now is this a big one? It's not as big as your last one, but yeah, real. Yeah, that's a big fish, dude. You can't even do not touch that. Though. Okay. <laughs> You're good. You're good. We're hooked up that's right good. now. I was I literally just walked over here. We just changed the bait. This is finally a big fish. This is actually Spencer's rod. Spencer walked to the back to do some jigging. I didn't touch the bail thing this time, bud. Thank you for not touching the bail. I appreciate that. We'll get this one in this time. So I don't even pump, I just leave it in the rod thing. Yeah. Like a total noob. Yep. Yeah, I literally just rebated it and I dropped down. This is the total noob way to do this. You leave it in the rod holder and you just reel in a giant box of cardboard. Which is called a halibut. We're gonna need the shotgun for this one, boys. <laughs> okay, kind of get run out of energy here. Big enough harpoon or no? No, it's not even that big. That's oh. Big. oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Take it out of your holder. Take it out of the rod holder. All right, I'll walk back. back up. Keep his head in the water. Chip down a little bit. There you go. Go. Nice job, bro. Oh wow. Hogs, bro. Montague Mafia. Or Elrington Mafia. Oh. Can I hold him on this? Yeah, absolutely. Well, give me the gap. Oh, there we go. Another one? You need the gap? Boss one. Who's got one? Spencer? No. Okay. My first ever halibut caught here out in Alaska. Not an absolute giant, but this thing's going to taste good on the plate. Gaff it because we're going to keep this. You're allowed two halibut. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Did I get him? There it is. Yeah, he popped his eyeball. That's a good sign that they're dead. <laughs> bud, nice hook set. Bud, got one, bud. Oh, it's a big one, bud. It's a big one. We're reeling right now. We've got a giant on. It's under the boat. It's in Spencer's line. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a salmon. Oh, crap. We got salmon you got a silver? Oh, man. Oh, net. 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 <laughs> we need a net over here. Oh, she's under the boat. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, baby. There's a jumbo. Jumbo. Nice work, buddy. Oh, shit. He's a little scrumptious. This guy's a silver. Caught him. We actually got to the rockfish spot. And uh, I don't know how I hooked this thing, but I hooked him. Now I guess I'm going to eat him. We're just meat slaying today, folks. Break, we're breaking the curse. We need we need a gaff over here. We need a gaff. Gaff ASAP. Right corner. Folks, this is what we're after. That is rockfish number trace for me. One more and I'm living it out. We're just meat hunters today. That's all we are. Hold on, hold on. Can we get it? Can we get this on camera here? Yeah. Has anybody caught one of these in the boat yet? No. Is this the smallest? It's just a bait. Is this the smallest fish yet? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. By far. By far the smallest fish that has been landed in the boat. Um, this is my buddy Gobi. Gobi is a nice fish. It's the smallest one so far. Can't get my limit of rockfish, but I can get some gobies. Look at him. He looks cool. Bye, Gobi. We're dropping these live little uh, little pieces of bait down there on a hook, and these rockfish are all over the place. We saw them on the graph, and um, it's pretty simple. You actually just... You, here we go, Griff. There's no line clicker, so you kind of got to wing it to about 40 feet, and then you just slowly reel up. 
I actually caught. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's off. I actually caught a salmon doing this. Well, I actually caught a salmon doing this, and then just a rockfish. Uh, you can catch four rockfish. That's the uh, limit out here. So I've got two more to catch. I caught that goldfish earlier, and now I'm caught a blackfish, a black rockfish. Yeah, I have no clue what these fish are, but it's still fun. I mean, something I've never done before. And if you get bit, usually they take your bait, so I guarantee I don't have bait right now. Let's check it out. Oh, I have bait. Spencer came in this boat with too much confidence. We are definitely the biggest Googans on this boat right now. Everybody else, I think, is limited out except us, so. We, we, we've, got, we've got to kind of pick our, pick our slack up right now. Fish! I lost him? No, I got him. No. Oh, lost him. Oh, I got a fish, boys. Hell yeah. What is it? Oh, I'm limited out. <laughs> limited out. That is my fourth rockfish of the day. Limited out. That is a fugly looking one, but we're fishing for halibut on the last halibut spot. And uh, feels good to catch four rockfish. We're finally on the hot spot for halibut. This is uh, definitely going to be an over. I can feel it. Right now we're just staying on the spot to try and catch a couple halibut under 28 inches, but it's over. <laughs> what, do you want to hold on to the rod maybe? Wow, that's quite the real setup. Yeah, I need some help. <laughs> He's a Guggen, remember? Hey, put in a little gear for him. <laughs> Alright, this is how you reel fishing with your left hand. <laughs> with a right-handed reel. Why should be an under? Oh wait, that. No way. You're all right. That's big actually. Where are we looking at? Oh yeah, he's not under. He's under? Yeah. All right, chill. So I was goofing around a little bit with that fish. Uh, actually, ended up being the under that we needed. You're allowed to keep two. I've already said this 80 times, but that fish was under 28 inches. So I'm limited out on halibut. So now I'm gonna have Spencer reel in my rod, so he'll have two rods out. And uh, I'm gonna wait till we get to the salmon spot, so I can catch some salmon, and then uh, we'll have a bunch of fish to bring back to the to the 50 or the 48 continental states where we're going. That made no sense. We're going back. <laughs> So now we'll have some fish to bring back home, which will be great. So, all right, bud, your turn now. Thanks, Dad. Is that a video? That's a video. Oh, hold this one. Oh, oh, get him. Got him. No. Jump back down, Tom. Damn, you suck. What a rookie. What a rookie. He's got a fish. He's got a fish. Get the camera rolling. This is a big fish. Big fish right now, folks. Spencer finally has caught a rock. Is this a halibut, buddy? Is this a halibut, buddy? This is my rod. I let him reel it in because he's just been having trouble. He caught mine the other day. He caught, his first one was on my rod, wasn't it? Yeah, my halibut was on his rod. Oh, this might be a big halibut. Actually, this is probably a halibut, dude. Probably. I'll get the gaff ready for you. Let me gaff it. I'll gaff it. All right, ready? Don't let them see this so they don't come over here and yell at us. We're just rebels. We're rebels of the ch charter fish boat chatter. Yeah, no one knows what we got going on. Yeah, you, you just get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. I got to show my box fish off the I'm gaffing them. I'm going to drop them. You know the rule to the gaff is, right? Yeah, right in that side of the head. No, no. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah! You got it? Alright, pull it in the boat. Is that an under? Uh, that'll be close. You could keep one halibut over 28? Under 28 and then one of any size. Man. Congrats! Probably got a halibut. That is Buddy's first, first halibut on my rod. Was it yours on my rod? Yeah. 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 So Mine was bigger though, so it's okay. We are at the last spot of the day right now. It is uh, coming to an end. We've got to catch two more salmon to limit out to just be the ultimate meat hunter that we are. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen so many fish killed on a boat before, but you know, 
part of the Alaskan experience. We're gonna bring home a bunch of fish to our families, which will be cool. We've got beautiful mountains in the background. We've got fish smells, and we've got the beautiful, uh, how do you say that? Tecatis, yo? Tenacious. 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 We got the beautiful Tenacious. Tenacious right on our feet. We can smell the diesel fuel coming into ourselves and just, that's why I'm just doing this awful ongoing outro right now. But we're gonna keep fishing for a little bit and then head back to the dock. And uh, it's been a long day. We spent 12 hours on this boat, so all that footage has been compacted into this video. So Ethan's had a fun time editing it so far. How are you, Ethan? <laughs> I have now caught four king, four rockfish, two halibut, but I did not catch a link cod, which is kind of disappointing because it's the only place in the world where you can catch one. But um, we'll be back. Maybe tomorrow we'll go out in the tinner. Yeah. No. But uh, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to head to the dock and uh, eat some burgers because we don't want to eat fish after eating fish for the past week. The man behind the camera. What up, guys? Oh, tangled, imagine All right. that. He's tangled, okay. Don't worry, Bud has a fishing license because we needed him to have an extra rod for king fishing. This will be, have you ever caught a fish before? No, this never. Is, this is Ethan, he's been the one editing videos and filming them. Yeah, he's never enough. caught a fish. Well, Ethan's ca cast. Ethan's right, will. Right. Hey, hey, we can't win them all. <laughs> that, that, you know, it hey, wasn't me. You know, I gave him my best. Put in, I put in the work, put in the time. De skill was definitely there, it's just they, they weren't biting this morning, afternoon. Definitely not what happened. Tonight, you know. Uh, hey bud, tomorrow we'll snag them. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day. I'll, I'll snag them all, you know. I'm not, I'm snag them. I don't know. It was probably the bait, maybe the service, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the service? Yeah, these, yeah this, these, this guy, no. right here, this guy yes. with the face. Well, today, folks, we went on a beautiful charter boat, um, and we were cliche tours. I can't wait for the comments. With another cliche backdrop here in Alaska. No, all in all, it was a good experience. It was a good time. Um, we don't always go with guides. Like we've done this whole trip. This is actually the first charter slash guide I've ever hired in my life. <laughs> and being a full-time fishing guide myself, um, let's just say I'll never do it again. But it was good. We wanted to catch a halibut. We wanted to catch a rockfish. We wanted to catch all these fish. We just can't do it in the boat we're provided with from a little crap boat because, because it's too small. We would die. We would literally die. We went, you know, 40, 50 miles on the ocean today. It was great to see everything we More did. than that. We went like almost 100 miles. Yeah, I mean, we're ocean. way out there. Like, we're not. We probably could catch the fish on our gear. Like, I have no problem with that. It's just getting yeah. to where we needed it. Like, we could have caught those halibut on those If I had rods, a boat that I could get out there in, the gear we have from favorite, would have we could have, would have done fine. But, but it's not like we had a half a million dollar. Right. That boat we were on was half a million dollars. Right. So, anyways, besides all the point, hope you guys enjoyed the fish catching action. We're about to give some burgers to our guys who helped us out, get these fish that are, they're cleaning all our fish. We're gonna take those fish home to Chicago with us. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna do something that might get a little controversial tomorrow. And Ethan is gonna catch his first fish tomorrow. That's the goal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you guys so much for what. <laughs> you always do that. You always are way too- For watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. AP Bassin.